These steps are going to help your transition be as smooth as possible. Are you ready? Tip number one, this is something that people really uh, advise me to do and I love it. We do this when we travel for even vacations, but learn some basic Thai phrases. This is really key to helping you get be part of the culture, be part of where you're moving to. Even if it's for three months, six months, a year, you're just kind of exploring a little bit. This is a great tip to help you, especially for you guys and girls that are dating. This is really helpful. One of the phrases I love is Sarika, Sarikap for, for guys. Swarikap, Swarikap. It means hello, it means welcome. Um, so a lot of Thai people, especially in the urban areas like Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Phuket, are gonna speak English, so you're not gonna have any problems communicating, but it's just sometimes nice, you know, to talk in their language. And I'm not saying learn Thai, but if you're moving there, eventually I, I plan to take some Thai classes I want to learn the language. It's a beautiful language. It's a very musical language, and I love love to hear it. At the chin position. Learning stuff just like Sarika, Sarika, can help you and bless you um, on your journey. So that's just tip number one. Tip number two is booking international flights. I talked about this on other videos, but I want to say this again. Um, you, the the hubs are the best places to look. So you want to fly into Bangkok or Puckett. Bangkok is known as BKK and uh, Puckett is HKT. Those are the two major airports and you're going to get the cheapest flights into those from anywhere. Now I've mentioned Skyscanner before on other videos. I've done a whole video on Skyscanner and I'm going to mention it again here because it's the best place to get cheap flights, affordable flights, and find the best deals, but also set up trackers and find and, and be flexible with your dates and so you can get those best deals and I fly business class. I've flown premium economy, but I just prefer business class and I search and seek out really good deals so that they're long flights. Like my last flight from San Francisco over to Singapore was like 18 hours. Long time to be on a plane. And that's another tip is in, if you're in the United States or Canada, look for different air, um, airports around the country that are hubs like New York, um, Chicago, Seattle, San Francisco, LA, Miami. Um, look for those. Atlanta is a good one sometimes. Search around because you can reposition yourself for a great deal. You might save a lot of money. We've, we, going out of New York to Thailand, we saved $6,000. We would have paid almost 10 grand to fly to Dallas to but going repositioning on a two hundred dollar south, southwest flight up to new york we saved six thousand dollars and you do have hotels and some other expenses for doing that so you gotta you gotta be real real about it but this is something all the experts recommend too and that's how i learned it i've been studying miles and stuff so look for that on skyscanner and you can look for things like thai airways emirates uh qatar singapore airlines um there's Etide. There's a lot of airlines out there that fly out of these major hubs and give you better deals. And just a day or two difference can save you a lot of money. And I'll just say this again because I say it on all my videos, but you want to book directly with the airlines. And that's the great thing about Skyscanner is you can book directly with the airlines through them. But you get all the tracking, you get all the different tools to like try out different dates and different things and then when you're ready to book a flight you find one on there and you go to book it it's going to take you through to that airline i just booked one for delta um for my family going to california and i found a bed still in there and i still got to book it directly through delta and it's just all beautiful and i'll put a link down below in the description it is an affiliate link so i make a little tiny bit of money but i know everyone's like oh you're just trying to sell things no I'm just trying to be honest with you here. That's what this channel is about. It's just to add value to you. I'm a huge researcher. I'm looking for the best deal. I'm looking, especially in, the, in these times, you know, everyone's looking to travel. Everyone's looking to go on a big trip for this time of year. And I want you to find the best deals. And I'm just here to tell you, if, I, if it wasn't a good deal, I wouldn't tell you. I don't care. I'm, I'm going to be honest here on this channel. And I, I'm so grateful when you guys use my affiliate links because I make a little tiny bit of money. Don't even come close to supporting this channel. I spend hours and hours at night and weekends putting this together for you guys because I love you. 
and I want to help you and I want to add value to your life. And that's, I'm on the journey now to leave the corporate world. I don't know if you saw my video on I'm quitting the job. I'm moving to Thailand. But if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it down in the description. I'll put it at the end of the video. Be sure, be sure and watch that because you'll, you'll hear my heart that I'm just on this journey. I want to bring you along with me. I want to convince you to move to Thailand or somewhere and have a better life. It's one life you get to live and I want you to have an amazing life. But even if you're going on vacation domestically or internationally, I'm just here to tell you, Skyscanner is where it's at. It's awesome. Google it, look at Reddit, look at Facebook groups. You'll find it everywhere. People are loving this because they really do have affordable, cheap rates and it's just really easy to use. Okay, the next tip is navigating healthcare. A lot of people have been asking me this. Okay, do I have to can I take my healthcare with me? Do I have to buy healthcare? And the answer is yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anytime we fly over even if it's you know on a vacation overseas we buy health insurance we call it's called nomad insurance i'll put a link down to it below as well it's called safety wing and we just we've never had to use it thank god but we've known people that have and things happen and you want to have that extra protection and it's very cheap and affordable so it's just worth having and we always do for vacations we do the set dates not the monthly rate so you can set the date you're going to be gone. We usually add a day before and a couple of days at the end just in case you get stuck or something. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Flight gets canceled or rearranged or something. You want to stay longer. We just add that cushion. It's not much more to do that. I think it's like a few dollars. But I highly recommend this for you if you're going for like three months, six months, a year, anything over that. I'll do a whole another video on that because you need to get something there in Thailand that's going to help you. There's some visas that actually help you with that, which we're going to talk about next. Um, like the platinum visa, elite visa, long-term resident visa. A lot of those come with services of health, um, a yearly checkup, things like that. The amazing thing, the amazing thing about Thailand is the hospitals in like Bangkok and Phuket and Chiang Mai are amazing they're like first class you're going to be treated with excellent care i've never been in them but i know people that have i have a friend that's lived there for 15 years and i've watched and done a lot of research on them they're just really high end you're going to get a lot of great care if you need it if you're retiring there you're you're older you're thinking about those kind of things then there'll be options uh, in my insurance video that i'm going to do a full video on this but if you're just going over there to, on vacation, you're going over there for three months on an exploration, uh, you know, tour of Thailand to see where you want to live at, and you're looking for the location and the kind of st life you want. Then you want to use Safety Wing. It's the cheapest option, and you can do the monthly option there. That's what I'll be doing, and it's it just you you figure up your age and all your things and what you will cover, want covered you just put in your age and everything you want covered and then it'll tell you the monthly rate you sign up it's boom bam bam it's that easy and then when you're ready to cancel you just log into your account and cancel it um it's very very easy nomad insurance from safety wing it's it's very popular if you google it or look online you're going to find it everywhere a lot a lot of people that travel to thailand or travel around the world influencers nomads expats use the service it's it's a very well known and trusted service and i highly recommend it you know whether you buy it from my link or not it's you know that's not why i'm telling you about it i'm telling you about it because it's the best out there i've done tons of research and i'm here to tell you it is where it's at now if you're a scuba diver like me you also want to look at dan 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 covers you for it's, you know, more athletic stuff like scuba diving. If, if you, you know, get the bends or something like that, you need emergency care. It's unlikely, but you just want to be covered. So I always recommend that. For some reason, Safety Wing doesn't cover that for citizens of the United States and I think North America. If you're in the UK or other countries, they may cover you. So check that out first and see if um, extreme sports are covered in your package from your country. Um, I know in Germany, they have an amazing healthcare thing from their government that's like i think nine dollars a month or something I, I ran into a german girl in bali and she was telling us about that so check around in your country but for the united states and canada safety wing is where it's at it's 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 what you want 
Uh, my next tip is going to be join some groups on Facebook. Join some groups on Reddit for expat communities like digital nomad communities. Depending on your age, if you're in a retired age, um, a great channel is Retired Working For You. Um, Chris is awesome. He's got tons of videos just on that kind of thing that will be helpful to you. And you also will find he's got a, a whole membership group and Facebook group where you can join and like anybody like over 50 that's retiring in Thailand can be a part of that. And it's a great way to meet people too. Um, for digital nomads, you're going to want a younger crowd. You're probably going to want someone in the 20s or early 30s or mid 30s. Um, so there's Facebook groups and stuff for that. LCA from Lost uh, Creator, uh, Chris, uh, Christian LeBanc is an awesome group you can join. They have a, a whole amazing community, a supportive community. So if you're looking for some money, check that out. But you want to join a group. Look on Facebook and look for big memberships. Like don't don't join a group that's got 3,000 members. And also look at the activity. How many posts are they getting every day? Because that will tell you if it's active. And then you join some groups and you're like, oh, it's just all sell stuff. So you want to find that group that's like legit. And I'd suggest finding private groups and not public groups. These are going to be more um, legit groups that are going to give you a more community, more real information, more people just seeking like, you know, answers and questions and giving value and information to you. These are great ways to surround yourself with like-minded people that will give you some networking and support on your journey to a new country, to Thailand. So I, I did a whole video on visas in my first video. I'm moving to Thailand. I left the USA. But I just want to say again here, there's a whole new Nomad visa coming out called Destination Visa. It's still brand new. It just got released just recently. Um, it has very minimal requirements. You get five years um, and you get to renew that every six months. And you can do that once in country. And then you can get a bank account. You can get a driver's license. You, there are some minimal requirements you want to check out. There's also long-term visa. There's platinum visas, elite visas. Of course, you can do your um, uh, tourist visa. And, and I've had a lot of people say, hey, I recommend getting your tourist visa before you go. I've never had to do that. But if you want a longer-term visa and you want to ensure that it's like 60 days, 90 days, then maybe you want to go on to the Thai website. And I'll put that down below. If, and... Uh, you can go on there and go and apply for that and have that locked in. You want to do that pretty close, like 30 days, 45 days before your trip, maybe 60 days. You don't want to do it like a year before, or six months before is what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, there's a time limit once you get that visa to use that visa. Um, I've always done just on arrival. We got 60 days on arrival when we went to Thailand. Um, some people say they, they'll give you 30 and then you have to ask for 60. So just check it. Look, if you're if you're nervous about it, go and apply for it. Get it all ready. If you're if you're one of those cool travelers, you've traveled a lot. Just go over there. You'll figure it out. There's tons of people to help you. Okay, guys, if you're still with me, I love you guys so much. This is gonna be an amazing journey. I can't wait to bring you guys along. And when I get there, these video formats will change into more live footages. What by live I mean like I'll be on the streets. I'll be I'll be walking you around Thailand, showing you things as I go find my condos as I go, you know, explore each city and all the things I do. Um, I want you to come along with me so you'll be along on the journey. These are just like videos I'm prepping for. I'm getting information out to you. If you're deciding to go or thinking about it or on the fence or like exploring the idea and you're like me, I've watched a ton of YouTube videos like retired for me, the Chris is awesome. I love, and there's some great videos, um, guys out there for condos and stuff like that. Cause you just kind of want to see what's realistic and having a friend there that's lived there for almost 15 years. I did a whole thing on the budget, a realistic budget, um, on my first video moving to Thailand. And I want you guys to know, to see that because there's a lot of videos out there. They're like, you can live like a king for $500, but I wanted to give you a realistic, um, budget. Um, so be sure and check that out. So I've got a bonus tip for you. If you're still with me, this is just a little, uh, nudge, even for vacationers or you're going over there for a month or you're traveling for work or whatever your situation is, embrace the local food and markets. Cause I know people that just like 
gravitate toward the more Western restaurants and like Icon CM, um, which are beautiful restaurants and nice restaurants and a great evening out. Or there's there's all kinds of really great places to go that are more Western, that are more, you know, what we're used to. But I really, that Thailand is famous for its delicious and diverse courses and uh, cuisine. And I want you to go try it out. Do a street for a street food tour. Um, I booked on Viator. I'll put a link down below. Um, we did a Tuk Tuk food tour. It was amazing. He took us down some street food stuff to some restaurants. He ordered all the food for us, like local places. We could tell him we didn't want it super spicy and stuff, so don't worry about that. But just try it out. There's some great, amazing cuisines that are really affordable. There's great desserts there. Um, you'll find too that a lot of Thai food you have in the States is not as popular over there. It's more, uh, considered, um, lower, lower income, like more, um, I don't know, peasant food is what, uh, is what some of my friends over there told me when we were talking, we were asking for like, where's Matsi Man or Pad Thai or things or things like that. And they're like, uh, those are like more peasant food stuff. So they took us to a traditional Thai place. And the food was like so different than here, but so good, so amazing. I mean, some crazy cool stuff. And I'm a pretty picky eater when it comes to like, I'm not gonna eat bugs. She had a cricket and she almost tried a scorpion, but you know, I'm not gonna touch that stuff. I'm not interested in that. But there's some really cool markets. I go to Icon TM in the basement. There's a cool market there. There's some cool stuff in Terminal 21. It's, um, up at the top if you go up there a really cool market that we went to that's no as famous in bangkok called kasan road it has tons of street foods if you're if you're into drinking which we're, we don't drink but if you're into drinking there's tons of bars and stuff like that um there are kids there so it's, even though it's not really family friendly that's that's up to you but it's not like it's not like cowboy soy or anything like that it's it's a pretty just like typical thailand nightlife and there's scorpions for sale to eat and all that kind of crazy stuff too so just go and have some fun just explore the cult culture like it's a land of smiles the people are so nice and so awesome and i want you to just have some fun and i'm going to do travel guides i should have mentioned this earlier but i do travel guides for every city we go to i do so much research on because i want us to maximize our day because we spend a lot of money and we have limited time so i plan out what we're going to see where we're going to eat what we're going to do so we're not jumping all over from the north to the east to the south you know so we're in different regions and we like maximize our time so i i'm taking all that knowledge that i built for us and put it into travel guides that i'm going to put up um and the links down below on my website zachistravel.com and down below in the description so you can get those for you even if you're going on vacation it'll just say hey this is where you should stay it'll give you the hotel to stay at the itinerary like how long to stay in bangkok how to fly to chiang mai where to stay you know what to do there where to go how to book transportation all of it's done for you so you just have to like purchase it and go like it's just boom 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 that's what i want for you because that's that's what we do for us when we get over there, most of everything has been thought through and it just it just goes off like clockwork. Boom, boom, boom. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I love seeing your beautiful faces. Hey, I'm rooting for you on your journey to freedom. And I will catch you in the next Zachas Travel video. Peace.